This is Malaga. Buenas tardes, a beautiful day here on the Costa del Sol of southern Spain on the Mediterranean here in Malaga. That is where I'm staying. Easy Hotel. And so the full name of the hotel is Easy Hotel Malaga City Center. And so based on that I kind of assumed that it would be in or near the city center. However, that is not the case. It is quite a, a long, like, uh, 1.5 kilometers or something a walk so i'll make that walk now the historical old town is very nice now also when i booked the uh, hotel then based on the location being just a block from the coast from the sea here then i thought that it would be like this awesome idyllic beach scene with uh, coconut palm trees and restaurants right on the beach and stuff like that there are some palm trees but not a ideal swimming spot. It is the port and a total industrial zone. So not exactly what I was expecting and hoping for coming here. I'm here just a few days. I've been here two days. I leave tomorrow flying to Morocco. The uh, reason that I came here is because there was a direct flight from Poland, from uh, Krakow to uh, Malaga, and then another flight from Malaga straight to Tangier, Morocco. So it was a convenient stop and I uh, thought I would just kind of get a taste of the uh, Costa del Sol. Never been to this part of Spain. And so, is Malaga worth visiting? We will find out in the course of this video. But of course, there is uh, much to see in the area and so it is uh, likely a good place to fly into, base yourself and do more exploring. I haven't, you know, gotten out of the city at all. So as you can see here, not a great place for a swim. And so this is the main street in the city, the Alameda Principal. Nice wide street, shaded with trees, and the old town in there. Not super old, it seems, but uh, very beautiful architecture. And so here you can see the streets go left or right. You can't go into here. And so it becomes a nice uh, pedestrian walking area.
And it looks like this is the cathedral. I hadn't seen this before. Wow. Pretty phenomenal. Nice spot to have some tapas and a cerveza. Man, that thing is just so monstrously huge. And so here are a few of the things to see. Plaza de la Constitución, Museo Carmen Dyson. Lots of museums, Hammam, Picasso Museum. So the reference to the Hammam is because Spain was occupied by the Moors, Muslims from North Africa, for centuries. The two main forts are Moorish forts. I haven't visited them yet, but I uh, will plan to in the course of this video. So one of the Moorish castles up there. And looks like a amphitheater. So I'm not sure if this is part of the Moorish Romano de Malaga. That's what I thought is, you know, looks Roman. Let's uh, get a closer look, see how much it is to go inside. Hola, buenas tardes. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? 
It's free. free. Gracias. Muchas gracias. The growth of Malacca as a commercial center under the Lex Flavia, which imposed Roman standards, favored the theater and surroundings, becoming a monument to the urgetism or patronage of public works. So, uh, definitely some Roman history here. During the decadence of Roman rule, the city of Malacca was dominated by the booming trade in fish salting. The city was peppered with hundreds of pudrideros, where the fish and the guts were processed to make garum a highly prized seasoning for cooking. So I suppose that the size of the amphitheater indicates how big the city was. Not a huge uh, amphitheater, especially if this is the main one. And so maybe it was a relatively small city or town. Buenas tardes. Uh, un cerveza y uh, menú, por favor. Menú, ok. So paella is kind of the uh, signature dish of uh, Spain, however I'm not really a big fan of a lot of rice, so not uh, one of my favorites. Seven euros for all of these pasta dishes, great uh, prices. Gracias. De nada. Cool. Something different from San Miguel. Red Liars, Cruz Campo, Especial. Typical, but uh, nice and cold and fresh. This coffee? I'd like to order. Abondingas. No, no me queda. No. Okay, uh, tapas. Uh... Hay todo. Albondigas, pilpil, pil, y longostino no me queda. Todo hay. 
Vale, brava, hummus, champi, todo ahí. Ok, um, nachos. Nachos con guacamole? Sí. Ok. Y uh, tortellini, ricotta y spinaki. Ok. Muchas gracias. Nada. So I'm at the Plaza de la Merced, the main square. It isn't quite as happening as you might expect. The main restaurant and gathering scene seems to be in the lanes. Eighteen forty two. Some restaurants here. And there is great news in the beach department. There is a beach close by. It looks amazing. The problem is just that it is not anywhere near my hotel, so I just kind of got uh, screwed over with the supposed city center hotel there. So let's go find the beach. And perhaps I will do the uh, walk up to the uh, fort afterwards as it's cooling down a little bit. Centro Ciudad, city center. So while I'm walking over to the beach, then I thought that I would explain how I booked my flight uh, getting here for people who are curious, just uh, like how does that uh, process work for me? Do I book it in advance? Are there, you know, round trip flights or uh, do I have a uh, onward flight from where I fly into usually? So I booked this flight from Poland to Malaga the day before. I had just visited Auschwitz and I was literally like sitting in the car after touring Auschwitz trying to decide where to go from there because I didn't have anything booked. No hotel, no flight. I uh, wanted to go to Wroclawski, however you say that one. It looked really nice, but there were less flight options out of there as compared to Krakow. And my 90 days in Europe is up tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 90th day in the uh, Schengen zone of Europe. And so I have to leave if I don't want to take a chance at getting a fine or there are various uh, potential consequences. You don't want to uh, take your chances with that. So I had to leave by uh, August 26th tomorrow from all of Western Europe. So I considered spending it in uh, Poland my last uh, few days, but the uh, best flights were out of Krakow, and so I just decided I think I'll just go with the easier flights and have a few more days in a new country and be able to show Malaga before I leave Europe. So I was sitting there perusing the flight options and, uh, okay, let's go for it. I knew that there was a direct flight from Malaga to Tangier, Morocco, and so I was thinking of taking that, but then I wanted to uh, get from Krakow direct to uh, Malaga here without any layovers anywhere. And there was a direct flight from Krakow to Malaga at 6.15 in the morning. And so that means 
you have to uh, be at the airport, of course, at like 4 in the morning. And so you have to get up at 3 in the morning. And that was the next morning, as I was sitting there in uh, my car, my rental car, trying to make up my mind where I was going to go. And so I decided to go for it, even though there was so much more to see in uh, Poland. I really want to go back. It deserves more time, but uh, my time is up. And so I booked that flight, drove back to Krakow, booked a, a hotel near the airport, and got up middle of the night and caught that flight. It was 170 bucks on Ryanair, including luggage. So not bad. And then my uh, flight from here to Tangier, about the same price, 170 bucks or so US. Even though the flight here was three and a half hours and the flight from here to Tangier is 50 minutes, but uh, same price for the flights. So you can see the uh, harbor here, the ugly port industrial zone. This is as far as I came in previous exploring. I hadn't done any research yet about uh, beaches here, if there were any right nearby. This uh, ugly thing blocking the view and construction, I'm sure that there is a construction project in process and it will be much uh, nicer once it's done, but for now, not a uh, pleasant scene. But then I just uh, searched for the uh, best close beach in Malaga and it is just over there. So the uh, trick if you come to Malaga is don't stay where I am. Stay closer to the beach. Probably it will be more expensive, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, anywhere in this general area, even over by the uh, city center, will be a lot closer to the action. So this is one side of Malaga. My hotel is 2.7 kilometers that way, or a 33 minute walk. If you had asked me, is Malaga worth visiting, having seen only the side, I would have said, eh, kinda sorta, it is a nice uh, city center and castles, but uh, not, you know, really worth going out of your way for. However, there is another side, and this is going to uh, change the equation, it looks like. I can see the sand. So here we go. If you are looking for a ultimate Mediterranean vacation on the Costa del Sol of Spain, this might be your place. Combine a beautiful old town and castles and sunny weather and Malagueta Beach. This is pretty ultimate. And of course, many more beaches in the area. Look at that, that is a nice bay. Just be sure to choose your accommodation wisely. But man oh man, that sand is roasting hot. Malagueta Beach. Definitely a busier scene than I am uh, looking for, but uh, still. A uh, very uh, lovely beach and the water was amazing, really nice uh, swimming there. So, that adds a lot to Malaga.
So let's get a closer look at the fork. And then, speaking of video editing, I gotta get back to work. The uh, Wi-Fi here is amazing, and so I'm trying to take advantage of it and uh, get some videos posted while I can. The Wi-Fi is probably not gonna be great in Morocco. And here is the uh, castle. Some stairs going up from the uh, roundabout down there. Looks like uh, continue up this way. Another tunnel. So this is turning into quite a hike. It's going further up that way. I'm hoping that it goes up and over eventually so that I don't have to go back down the same way, but uh, we'll see. Let's see if this gives any indication. Eh, not really. Huh. Well, let's go a little further. And looks like I made it to the top. Interesting that the name of the castle is Gibraltaro or Gibraltaro because just west of here is Gibraltar, Gibral, and then further west of there is Faro, Portugal.